Mr. Secretary, uh, you previously said that a precondition to talks with North Korea is the regime agreeing to give up its nuclear and ballistic missile capabilities. On Tuesday, you said that wasn't realistic. Uh, and today, you didn't mention the issue at all, despite what was in your prepared remarks. Does it re remain a precondition for the United States? Um, and are you and President Trump on the same page on whether and when to engage in talks? Uh, the President's policy on North Korea is quite clear, and there's no daylight at all between the President's policy and the pursuit of that policy. And the President, I think, has been very clear that we are going to lead this pressure campaign, we're going to unite the international community, and we're going to keep the pressure as, as much as we can and increase it where possible. Most recently, the President called President Xi personally and asked him to, for China to cut the oil supplies off to North Korea to increase this pressure. That is intended to lead to diplomatic talks. In the meantime, the President's been very clear. Militarily, he, we are going to be prepared should something go wrong, and our military is prepared. With respect to the talks, the pre we are not going to accept preconditions. You heard others have called for freeze for freeze. We do not accept a freeze for freeze as a precondition to talks. We do not accept any relaxing of the sanctions regime as a precondition of talks. We do not accept the resumption of humanitarian assistance as a precondition of talks. So we are not going to accept preconditions for these talks. But as I indicated in my remarks, our communication, communication channels remain open. North Korea knows they're open. They know where the door is. They know where to walk through that door when they want to talk. Thank you.